Hello everyone, welcome to this video on Natural One and DevOps. The focus of this video will be continuous integration. This is an illustration of the Natural One DevOps process and tool chain. Continuous integration tools such as Jenkins ensures a successful application build and deployment. Let's take a more detailed look on this part of the process, especially as it relates to Natural One. The Natural One development environment is used to implement natural applications. Natural One connects to a natural development server to build and run the application. A source code management system like Git or Subversion is used as a repository server. Developers create a local copy of the source code, which they modify in isolation. Modifications are uploaded and executed in private mode, so no other developer is affected. Natural One manages the entire process. Once the work has been completed, the changes are made available by committing or pushing them to a central repository. Continuous integration transfers all changes from the central repository to the shared development environment. It ensures that the application build and deployment processes are completed successfully. Then all modifications become available to other developers. Let's take a look at how this works with Natural One and Jenkins. This is the Jenkins web application. Jenkins is an open source continuous integration tool. Aside from other functionalities, we can create jobs to execute automated tasks. I have created three jobs to deploy the source code changes committed to a central repository to a corresponding environment. The first job, NAT CI Dev, will deploy all changes to the shared development environment. We'll see this job spin up after we commit changes to the repository. Let's first switch to Natural One. This is the Natural One development environment. On the left hand side is the navigator view. It contains my workspace and all my current projects. At the moment, we can see a natural cruise project that's connected to a Git repository. Let's open this library and navigate through the programs. There is one main program we want to modify. Let's open it in the editor. In the center, we can see the source code. We'll scroll down to an error message at the bottom. Let's change the text to, really sorry. After saving, we can upload and execute the program via the context menu, run as, natural application. Here we see a natural demo application which can retrieve a record from an Adibus database running in the back end, based on the cruise ID. If we enter an invalid value, we'll be able to see the edited error message. This modification is only available in private mode, so it doesn't affect any other developer. We can check this by connecting to the shared development environment through the natural server view. Let's expand the library and start the same program in the shared development environment. Entering an invalid value will show the old error message. This is where continuous integration comes into play. Let's see what happens when we commit the changes to the repository. We need to specify a commit message in the dialog that appears, something like CI change. Because we're working with Git, we need to commit and push the changes to the central repository. After confirming the changes, we'll switch to Jenkins to check the NAT CI dev job. The job was started and is in the build queue and finishes shortly after. This job has transferred my committed changes from the central Git repository to the shared development environment. It ensures that build and deployment are successful, which we can see by the blue symbol. Let's switch back to Natural One to verify that the changes have been transferred. We'll start the same program in the shared development environment via the context menu and execute. In the central view, we now can see our modified error message that appears when entering an invalid value. The continuous integration process was successful. This video was about Natural One and DevOps with a closer look at continuous integration.